Hello everyone. I'm very happy to see all of you guys again here. Today, we're diving deep into the MERN stack, a collection of technologies that powers some of the most dynamic and modern web applications. Whether you're preparing for an interview or simply seeking to expand your knowledge, you're in the right place. Get ready to master the MERN stack as we tackle the top 20 interview questions and provide you with comprehensive answers. Let's get started. Question 1. What is the MERN stack? Answer. The MERN stack is a robust set of technologies used to develop full-stack web applications. It comprises four key components, MongoDB, ExpressJS, React, and Node.js. MongoDB is a NoSQL database, ExpressJS handles the back-end server, React manages the front-end user interface, and Node.js powers the back-end logic. Together, these technologies enable seamless communication between the server and client, making the MERN stack an exceptional choice for building dynamic and interactive web applications. Question 2. How does the MERN stack differ from MEAN? Answer. While MERN and MEAN both fall under the full-stack JavaScript umbrella, they differ in their front-end frameworks. MERN uses React, a JavaScript library, for creating user interfaces, while MEAN employs Angular, a TypeScript-based framework. This choice of front-end technology contributes to unique development experiences and different approaches to building user interfaces. Question 3. What is MongoDB? Answer. MongoDB is a widely used NoSQL database that stores data in a flexible, document-oriented format known as BSON or Binary JSON. Unlike traditional relational databases, MongoDB uses collections and documents, allowing developers to structure and store data in a more natural and dynamic way. Its scalability, speed, and support for horizontal scaling make it an ideal choice for applications dealing with large amounts of unstructured or semi-structured data. Question 4. Explain the role of ExpressJS in the MERN stack. Answer. ExpressJS is a fast, unopinionated backend web application framework for Node.js. It simplifies the process of building APIs, handling routes, and managing middleware. With Express, developers can define routes, manage requests and responses, and integrate middleware to enhance server functionality. It's the bridge between the front-end and the back-end, enabling efficient communication between the two. Question 5. What is React and why is it used in the MERN stack? Answer. React is an open-source JavaScript library for building user interfaces. It introduces the concept of reusable components, which encapsulate UI elements and their behavior. In the MERN stack, React is used to create interactive, dynamic, and responsive user interfaces. Its virtual DOM, Document Object Model, efficiently updates only the necessary parts of the actual DOM, optimizing performance and enhancing user experience. Question 6. How does React handle component communication? Answer. React handles component communication through two primary mechanisms, props and state. Props means short for properties allow data to flow from parent to child components, enabling the passing of information and configuration. State, on the other hand, represents a component's internal data that can change over time. By combining props and state, components can efficiently communicate and update as needed. Question 7. What is Node.js and its role in the MERN stack? Answer. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on the V8 JavaScript engine. In the context of the MERN stack, Node.js serves as the server-side runtime, enabling developers to run JavaScript on the server. It's well-suited for handling I-O intensive tasks and enables non-blocking, asynchronous operations, making it a strong choice for building scalable and efficient back-end services. Question 8. Explain the concept of virtual DOM in React. 
Answer, the virtual DOM is a critical concept in React's performance optimization. It's a lightweight in-memory representation of the actual DOM. When state or data changes occur in a React application, React creates a virtual DOM diffing mechanism to identify the minimal changes needed in the actual DOM. This process reduces unnecessary re-renders, minimizing rendering overhead and enhancing performance. Question 9. How does Node.js handle asynchronous operations? Answer. Node.js employs an event-driven, non-blocking I.O. model to manage asynchronous operations efficiently. It uses an event loop to execute tasks in a non-blocking manner, which means that while one task is being executed, Node.js can process other tasks simultaneously. Callback functions, promises, and the more recent async-slash-await syntax are used to handle asynchronous code and ensure proper execution order. Question 10. What is JSX in React? Answer. JSX stands for JavaScript XML. It's a syntax extension used in React to define the structure of UI components. By blending JavaScript logic with HTML-like tags, JSX allows developers to write more concise and readable code. React components are defined using JSX, which is then transpiled to standard JavaScript before being executed by the browser. Question 11. How do you secure a Node.js application? Answer. Securing a Node.js application involves implementing several practices and security measures. Some steps include using the Helmet middleware to set HTTP security headers, sanitizing user inputs to prevent SQL injection and cross-site scripting attacks, using packages like Passport for authentication, applying role-based access control, and regularly updating dependencies to mitigate security vulnerabilities. Question 12. What is Redux, and why is it used in React applications? Answer. Redux is a state management library for JavaScript applications, commonly used with React. It addresses the challenge of managing complex application states by providing a centralized and predictable state container. Redux facilitates the flow of data through a unidirectional data flow, making it easier to track, manage, and update application states, especially in large and intricate projects. Question 13. How does React Router work? Answer. React Router is a library that enables client-side routing in a single-page application or SPA. It allows developers to create and manage routes, enabling navigation between different components without the need for full-page reloads. React Router leverages the browser's history API to provide a seamless user experience and enable deep linking within the application. Question 14. What is middleware in Express.js? Answer. Middleware in Express.js refers to functions that are executed during the request response lifecycle. It sits between the incoming request and the final response, allowing developers to add additional processing, validation, logging, or authentication to the application. Middleware functions can be tailored to handle various aspects of server-side processing and enhance the application's functionality. Question 15. Explain the role of package.json in a Node.js application. Answer. The package.json file is a vital component of Node.js applications. It contains metadata about the application, including its name, version, dependencies, and scripts. This file serves as the entry point for package management, allowing developers to install dependencies, run scripts, define application settings, and ensure consistent behavior across development, testing, and production environments. Question 16. What is the purpose of use effect in React? Answer. The use effect hook in React is used to manage side effects within functional components. Side effects include tasks such as data fetching, DOM manipulation, and subscriptions. By using the use effect hook, developers can ensure that these tasks are performed after the component has rendered, helping to maintain the integrity of the user interface. Question 17. 
How do you handle state in React components? Answer: React components manage state using the useState hook. This hook allows functional components to maintain their own state by providing access to the current state value and a function to update it. By encapsulating state within components, developers can create self-contained and reusable UI elements that respond to changes in data. Question 18. What is cores and how do you handle it in Express.js? Answer. Cores, or cross-origin resource sharing, is a security feature implemented in web browsers to restrict cross-origin HTTP requests. In Express.js, cores can be handled using the cores middleware, which adds the necessary HTTP headers to allow or restrict cross-origin requests based on configuration. This middleware ensures secure communication between different domains. Question 19. Explain the purpose of Node Package Manager or NPM. Answer. Node Package Manager or NPM is a command line tool and package manager for Node.js applications. It provides a vast repository of packages, libraries, and tools that developers can leverage to enhance their projects. With NPM, developers can easily install, manage, and share dependencies, simplifying the process of building, testing, and deploying Node.js applications. Question 20. How would you deploy a MERN application to production? Answer. Deploying a MERN application to production involves a series of steps to ensure a smooth transition from development to a live environment. The process typically includes 1. Building and bundling the React frontend using tools like Create React App or Webpack. 2. Setting up a production-ready Express.js server to serve the front-end and handle back-end logic. 3. Configuring environment variables to manage sensitive data securely. Selecting a hosting platform such as Heroku, AWS, or DigitalOcean. 4. Deploying the front-end and back-end to the chosen hosting environment, and ensuring that the application functions as expected in the live environment. Congratulations on completing this comprehensive journey through the MERN stack interview questions and answers. You've gained insights into MongoDB's flexibility, Express.js server-side capabilities, React's dynamic UI, and Node.js backend prowess. Armed with this knowledge, you're better prepared for interviews, project development, and your journey as a web developer. If you found this video helpful, remember to subscribe, hit that like button and share it with your fellow developers for more enlightening content. Until next time, keep coding, exploring, and pushing the boundaries of web development. Thanks for watching.